I'm Smiley, and you're watching Bogan Plays Cards! That Bogan Plays Cards! Alright, and welcome back to Bogan Plays Cards. I'm Scotty Hardwick, and uh, we have another episode today of Miniature Painting Therapy. Here we have a Nolzer's Marvelous Mini uh, Fomorian Giant. Now, first of all, what I did is I actually grabbed a little uh, blade from my craft knife set and I started trimming off all the excess uh, bits and pieces from where the mold was uh, cast and then stuck together. Now, this isn't necessarily an important part, but it definitely uh, helps with the final result. So I used a variety of different paints. The brown is more for the armor and loincloth. We've got the uh, black undercoat. We've got those three different shades for the skin. We've got the other two uh, more natural colors for the things like the fingernails and then the uh, dry brush. And of course the black for anything that we need to continue on painting with a little bit of black. For example, the eyes and things like that. And anything else we need a little bit darker. Starting off with, of course, the clothing. It's always good to start off with the clothing and generally start with a lighter color if you've got uh, more of a particular technical uh, garment because it means that you can always cut around uh, with the darker colors if you go a little bit over the places that you didn't necessarily need to go over. Grab a smaller brush. Uh, this one is a uh, insane detail army painter brush and that's when I started going over with a little bit of the brown because I realized that part of the loincloth had actually been tucked into the belt. Grabbed the black and uh, helped to uh, shade a little bit of the brown and the black so that I could get a darker brown um, that resembled more of an Albert brown um, that you might remember from a previous uh, miniature painting video. I was out of Albert, so you know when we are out of something, you uh, need to improvise a little bit, and there's nothing wrong with mixing a few paints together, especially when you're doing it on a wet palette, because it means if you don't quite get round to finishing it, you can put the top on the wet palette, and it won't dry overnight if you needed to to, to have a break, and uh, you can come straight back to what you have mixed. So make sure all of the uh, the darker colors are going on all the bits that I would uh, uh, consider hardened leather and all of the lighter browns are going on more of the fabricy type. So I realized that um, it looked like this Fomorian giant also had fabric that looked like it was poking out of his boots. So I just touched up on a little bit of lighter brown for that too, just so that it looked the part. But generally, if I had noticed it before, I would have done that part before the darker colors in that regard. This piece of advice, of course, with lighter than darker is only valid if you're not going to be uh, shading or adding colors on top of other colors. Because if you are going to add colors on top of other colors, then it is very important that you start darker and get lighter. You will see what I mean when we get to colouring in the skin. So starting with a cobalt red. This is all uh, army painter at the moment, all army painter colours. And you'll see that the, uh, the co uh, cobalt red is a little bit of a darker colour. Cover all of the, uh, the, the, the skin of the Fomorian in that. And then proceed to work um, lighter and lighter. So what I did is I grabbed a worm, uh, purple worm color to uh, highlight all of the pustules and all of that kind of thing and then I grabbed a more of a crimson red type and did a very uh, heavy dry brush over the entire entirety of the skin so that it came up or looked quite angry and things like that. But you'll see what I mean in a minute.
you. Now, of course, the trick with the dry brush is just to make sure that you've got most of the paint off the brush before you go. And as you see, we have gone from dark cobalt red to a nice crimson one, and that's how we've gone from darker to lighter. Of course, the purple was probably a bit of a lighter colour, but it was there to ensure that we were highlighting all of the pustules and warts and things. tongue and the eyes and using the fair skin color for the nails and the teeth didn't want proper white make it a little bit uh, dirtier off-white because um, then when we put the wash over it's going to look amazing and here we are so I chose a uh, darker uh, skin wash um, to make it uh, pop and it really goes into all of the different gaps and uh, bits and it really uh, comes up really awesome but to make sure that all of the indented bits and all the things that are sort of protruding from the model come out it's really good to dry brush another lighter color on top of that and for this one i believe it was skeleton bone and as you can see once the dry brush has been done it brings up all of the different extra materials and things like that from the, uh, the for the boots all the different bits that are poking out of the uh, the boots and of course the shirt uh, brings up all the uh, characteristics of the face and um, there we are the next stage of course is to do the basing some uh, texture paint some uh, some uh, flocking some pre-made flocking that I had and uh, open up my uh, case of secrets to grab some uh, rocks and boulders and then there's no rhyme nor reason to this one it's just um, do what feels best of course we've got some PVA and you can just sort of put as much as you want on there um, because you're going to be using the excess that sort of slips out of the model uh, for all of the extra bits and pieces I also watered down some extra PVA and um, watered it down so that it would all stick when I uh, added extra rocks and bits and pieces and pebbles and that kind of stuff onto the front of the base. This of course is the final step and then you just have to uh, do the uh, the annoying drying waiting time but it really came out uh, amazing I'm really happy with how it turned out thank you very much for watching I'd like to take this time to uh, please ask you to like and subscribe this video of course there are more videos coming out soon but before that is Christmas so I'd like to wish everybody a happy Christmas a happy new year thanks again and have a great day that bogan plays cards